Hello and welcome to Coffee with Carrie. Thank you for stopping by today. Here's what I heard. I can't compete with a thousand other women on the dating apps. I'm just one person and there's so many choices for the men out there where I live. How am I supposed to compete with that? You're not. Stick around, that's what we're talking about today. First of all, you know it's not a competition because why? There's only one you. There's not a bunch of you available to anybody in your area. There's not even anybody remotely like you. So take comfort in that. But also, it just seems like there is a bunch of choice out there. there it's just an illusion. The idea that there are thousands or hundreds or even dozens of women available to the men in your area and that's why you're not connecting with anybody or that's why the dates aren't actually happening once you do connect with somebody on the apps, just keep in mind it's an illusion. There isn't that much choice at all really. Think about your swiping. If you're paying attention, are you truly interested in 10 people during a swiping episode or an appointment with yourself where you sit down and allot some time to look through profiles and swipe? If you're doing it right and you're actually paying attention in reading what the person says and looking through all their photos and trying to gauge who this person is based on the things they've provided, and then swiping right as opposed to cute smile, right? I like the background in this shot. Nice shirt, right, right, right. If you're swiping like that, then of course, you're not gonna be super excited when you match with somebody because you don't really even know if you're interested. You haven't even read what they said or looked through all their photos. So I encourage you to do the swiping the right way, my way, <laughs> and you will realize it's not that there are so many fish in the sea or so many choices. It just seems that way. There are enough people on the dating apps for you to find somebody interesting every week to go out and meet for a cup of coffee or a drink or a game of mini golf, whatever it is you love to do on your first date. But number one, there aren't as many choices and you are not competing with tons of people. Therefore, I'm not meeting people, where are they? They're there, but they haven't learned how to swipe in the way I just suggested. And what happens is they just get overwhelmed. And then I wanted to remind you, of course, as I said, there's only one you, but it's not a competition. One of the amazing things about being in your 50s is that you truly do get to a point where you realize you're not competing with anybody. You're not competing with people who are much younger than you to have to maintain something that you had in your 30s or 40s. You're not competing with women who are for the same men at all. You are just offering who you are, where you find yourself at this stage of your life. And this goes for young people as well. You need to realize that what you offer and what you bring to the table is uniquely you. And when you are authentic and uniquely yourself, competition never even comes into play because as your kindergarten teacher probably told you, there is just one you. And so you are supposed to let your little light shine and be all that you can be so that you draw people to you who will appreciate what you have to offer. Next up, where are these people? Why are you not meeting them? Well, because nobody's making the first move. Don't wait. Why would you sit back and wait for somebody else to take the initiative, to be bold? Look at you. You're the bold one. Get in there. Make it happen. Start a conversation with somebody once you've matched. Take the initiative to actually make that date happen. You're going to wait for somebody else to offer to make plans or to figure out when or where you're going to meet up. It will probably fall apart. That's just the way the dating apps are working right now. So if you truly want to meet somebody, it's not about competition. It's about being the one person who's going to have a little gumption and plan a date. I promise you it will be such a relief to the other person if you take that job from them and take that on planning and deciding when and where you're going to meet much more likely that you'll actually meet a human being on the other side of these dating profiles and possibly start something magical. 
And then I wanted to remind you to be kind to yourself and watch that internal dialogue. So many people go, well, I'm older, I, and then fill in whatever negative connotation you had about being older when you were younger. And you gotta flip that on yourself and take a good look at where you've landed here because there is no reason for any excuses once you hit 50 and beyond and you're out there dating. You're in a very interesting space here that you have all this experience and all of this time to create the unique human being that you are and bring that to the table to share this personality and these life experiences with another person. Why would you make any excuses for that? Do not be negative. You know what people don't like and what doesn't create a foundation for a relationship or a dating adventure? negativity. Keep it positive. Be proactive and I promise you that will propel you to a date and possibly to a relationship way, way better than sitting back and wondering where all the people are. Why is this taking so long? Are these people out there? Why aren't I matching with somebody? Why when I match with somebody am I never meeting anybody? Are there that many other women that are better than me? Absolutely not. You're everything you need to be. You just need to be a little bit bolder and take the bull by the horns and get things moving. Do that and then let me know how it's working out for you. I appreciate you stopping by today. I hope you found that helpful. Really do it. Try it. It's totally worth it. It will change the direction of this dating experience for you. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, give the episode a thumbs up. I hope you will subscribe and hit that ring bell. Then you're notified every time I upload a new episode. I appreciate you stopping by today. I'll look forward to the next time. And until then, have a good one.